The second industrial revolution was a phase of rapid industrialization that occurred towards the end of the 19th century mm. and the beginning of the 20th century. Yeah. It is generally dated between 1870 and 1914. The location of the second industrial revolution was America, mm. and its <coughs> cause could have been the natural resources from the newly acquired territories following mm. the American Civil War, mm. a growing supply of labor immigrating from the Europe and the migration of emancipated African Americans, <laughs> also perhaps an expanding market for manufactured goods and the availability of capital for investment. Yeah. Anyway, the second industrial revolution was the age of science, public transportation and mass production. Steel replaced iron in the building business and because it was cheap and strong, facilitated the construction of ships, skyscrapers and larger bridges. Steel also made it possible to build the railway lines at competitive costs and this spread transportation. And the growth of the railway was also inextricably linked to the growth of the telegraph machine and later the telephone. Mm. This then ushered in the era of instant communication. That's right. The train was then replaced by the automobile and Henry Ford revolutionized mass production in manufacturing yeah. with the introduction of the assembly line yeah. to produce the Ford T model. Mm. All kinds of goods also became standardized for the first time during this period. Household items like soap, butter and clothing that used to be made at home started being made in factories. That's right. And the American federal government actively participated in this revolution by promoting industrial and agricultural development. Yeah. High tariffs were enacted to protect American industry from foreign competition, land was given to companies, railroad companies, to encourage construction, mm -hmm. and the army was even deployed to remove Af Indians, native Indians, from land that was wanted by farmers or mining companies. Mm -hmm. Either way, the second industrial revolution it enabled globalization and it created a rough draft of today's world. Mm. And it is said to have come to an end around the start of the Second World War.